Madam Speaker, over the weekend, the White House eased sanctions on Venezuela's oil sector, permitting Chevron to resume oil production in the communist regime. This policy follows an undeniable pattern of the president putting our nation last. Joe Biden is more than happy to greenlight drilling in Venezuela, but stalls drilling permits here in the United States. He's delighted to beg foreign adversaries like Saudi Arabia to boost production, but refuses to unleash American energy. The president is determined to advance Green New Deal policies, but fails to help Americans struggling to fill their gas tanks and heat their homes this winter. Make no mistake, this is the America Last administration. You see, President Biden wants to totally control U.S. fossil fuel energy, and he can do it more easily through manipulating imports of foreign oil than he can over domestic production once it has begun. It's a nefarious plan. Thank you. Thankfully, though, in just a few short weeks, House Republicans will retake the majority and start advancing legislation to restore American energy independence once and for all. Thank you, and I yield back.